for Krima Media's Polity, this is Sane Lamini. Joining me today is political analyst, Professor Raymond Satna, to discuss coalitions. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. So this is the first time you have written on coalitions when lots of analysts see it as the future direction of, of political life. Why have you neglected the topic? Well, I'm not so convinced that it is as important as they make out uh, because I don't see politics as only being about the elections. Mm -hmm. And if you have these minority coalitions that are continually collapsing, where is it getting us? They're not getting anything done. Or when they get removed, the next group says there's a mess in the water and the electricity because of the previous lot. And my belief is that we have to deal with the fact that there, uh, are, there's likely to be a minority government, even at a national level, in the next elections, and they will form a coalition. But... I'm not um, very convinced that it's a good thing. I think it's better for us to build up uh, political power, not just in relation to parliament, but in a number of different ways, because the democratic part of politics seems to me to not be present in parliamentary politics. It's much more present Insofar as they're in a number of uh, parts of civil society, as it's called, I'm not sure of that word, but popular politics, the professions, uh, caregivers, a number of these are part of it. And I don't want to spend endless time trying to save coalitions, and that's why I wrote this article. And you also more or less dismiss the value of uh, studies of coalitions elsewhere. Is that not arrogant? And can we not learn from these other countries? Well, you know, things are very different in Germany, in uh, Italy, and these other, other places. Or well, let's say not Italy at the moment. But mm. because, first of all, uh, they have some basic consensus. You know, in Sweden, for example, the Social Democrats have been dominant party for a very long time. But even when they were voted out at one point, and I think now they are no longer majority party, uh, when they were voted out, the welfare state provisions, which are very extensive, like you have a train running every five minutes, even if there's one person on the train. So you have welfare provisions such as we've never imagined here, and they continued even when the Social Democrats were out, because there was a basic uh, consensus in the society. So one of the lessons that people are coming back with is you have to have an agreement. Now, the parties that form coalitions in South Africa, they have no trust of one another. They don't have a common vision. We referred to the ANC, and it doesn't have a vision for it on its own anymore. The Democratic Party's got some vision, but every uh, week or two, there's some new black leader who's resigning from the DA. So you're not sure how much cohesion there is in the DA. Uh, these other parties flip-flop. Like the EFF one day is anti-xenophobia. The next day, they're busy patrolling restaurants to see how many foreign people are employed. Or they are anti-Indian. You know, they're racist. One day they're non-racist, one day they're taking people as being Indians. So I don't think there's a consensus in South Africa. Um, you, you know, these small parties, I mean, they, they, they count a minute percentage. How do you bring them together? Now, Pierre de Force was suggesting you need a threshold so you only have the big parties. And I'm not sure that that is a democratic way of dealing with it. But... We don't have the same conditions. Like in Germany, there have been coalitions for decades. And that was because the major party, either the Christian Democrats or the Social Democrats, usually got over 40%, not 50%. And the Liberal Party at that in earlier times had a fairly reasonable percentage, say 15% or 20 or something like that. 
So they were sizable parties and it remained like that. The Greens at some point had quite a lot of votes as well. Now, our situation is very different. And lastly, why are you intent on steering the discussion away from coalition? Are they not raising questions of uh, pressing concern now? And does the instability not matter to you, Professor? The instability um, is very important. And that was what, I, what Pierre de Force was suggesting, that the way of dealing with the, the instability is to learn from the northern country, countries in the north where you have less parties involved in the coalition. So if you have a 2% threshold, you will exclude some small parties. So you will not have a patriotic alliance or PAC even getting a seat. So they can't destabilize a coalition because they won't get into parliament. Now, I believe that that is not a democratic solution. When we supported proportional representation in 1994, 1996, we did that because it was inclusive. Uh, there are a number of small parties that don't get a lot of votes electorally, but they represent ideas that are meaningful for people, like the Black Consciousness Movement. Okay, they're not contesting elections, but they may contest elections. They may only get 1%. And PAC support amongst the people doesn't translate into votes, but it's a part of the history of the country. And there are quite a lot of people who still have those sentiments. So I wouldn't like us to artificially create uh, stability by uh, just excluding people. And that creates an artificial stability. Sure, they'll have a stable majority, but it will be less democratic than the present situation. They I don't have a solution, but I, I also don't feel we must save discredited parties at all costs. Because what you're saying is, let's save the DA or the ANC and ensure that it's easier for them to make a coalition uh, because there'll only be the big parties there. Now, I'm not so keen on, I don't feel that saving them means saving democracy. It means saving a coalition of parties whose legitimacy is in question. Said in the article, the constitution is legitimate. I'm not sure that the political parties are legitimate. There was political analyst Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Krima Media's Polity about coalitions.